The Unity Forum is taking place today in Mariupol. The future of relations between the Ukrainian government and society are being discussed by President Volodymyr Zelensky, the ministers of Infrastructure, Education, Culture, Veterans Affairs and the temporarily occupied territories, as well as human rights campaigners, representatives of NGOs and prominent figures from sports and culture, as well as film director Oleg Sensov. Our correspondent Tom Bell is there now. Hi, Tom. What can you tell us about uh, today's events in Mariupol? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tamara. Well, this uh, forum really is a platform uh, to enable this uh, discussion uh, between the local authorities and society. And one of the main questions that's been asked here, really, in most of the uh, panel discussions is, what is unity? It's about positive values, common goals and intentions, while also following through on uh, promises as well. And uh, that involves, of course, the community and the business administration setting joint goals and uh, not leaving anyone uh, behind. And really, the people earlier who we spoke to said it's isolation that really uh, disunites uh, people. And if you focus on the past, then unity in the future is uh, very difficult to uh, come by. And of course, this is especially important for the temporarily occupied uh, territories as well. And it's just the small things that really uh, make a difference. Uh, one of the people I spoke to earlier on said that, uh, you know, when they cross from Crimea into uh, mainland Ukraine, it's the small services such as being able to have a coffee or water or even use bathroom facilities that makes them um, all the difference and then later uh, further services are provided and uh, that's why we're here today. We're at the uh, new Mariupol Administrative uh, Center and it's one of the first in Ukraine where people not just uh, from the occupied territories but from other parts of Ukraine can come to really get uh, all the services that they need. Uh, I don't know if you could uh, see behind me, uh, people here can get uh, pension funds, uh, they can um, deal with uh, marriage certificates and death certificates. Um, other other services that uh, you would need on a daily basis. They're all in uh, one place. Uh, earlier on, uh, the president was here and, and he said that hopefully uh, other service centres will be open across the country in uh, the near future. Uh, also, Mr Zelensky, he spoke about uh, ostensibly on the importance of a clear and concise information policy of Ukraine. He said that uh, these fears of criminalised zones from the occupied territories uh, coming to Ukraine, that uh, uh, fears of capitulation, fears about uh, aggressive cultural and language policies are often uh, doused by the uh, Russian uh, disinformation uh, campaign and, and the state uh, media apparatus and that more needs to be done to counter that, to have a clear strategy to give Ukrainians the right information. Let's uh, listen to what uh, Volodymyr Zelensky had to say. I believe that our information field is mined. Besides fakes and manipulation, there is anger, aggression, the rhetoric is sometimes overwhelmed by hatred. In my opinion, we as a society need to take a deep breath and speak calmly, reasonably, without unnecessary emotions and slogans. Now, other participants that uh, we spoke to um, highlighted the importance of international experience in uh, reintegrating parts of temporarily occupied uh, territories. Uh, earlier on, we spoke to uh, the US uh, charge defense in Ukraine. Uh, William Taylor, here's what he had to say. I think Unity Forum has great significance for all Ukrainians. It's uh, significance for people in Donetsk, people in Mariupol, in people in Lviv, um, people in Kyiv. I think this is, this is an opportunity to show that Ukraine is united. And it's an opportunity to show people living in the non-government controlled areas uh, in Donbass that Ukraine is a great country and that they want to be part of that country. So I think this is a great idea for a unity forum. There we go. That was uh, William uh, Taylor uh, speaking to us earlier on. Um, of course, um, the ideas of unity uh, must be balanced. They must be uh, very uh, pragmatic and uh, they must be able to be done and uh, to be uh, realistic while also avoiding uh, a frozen conflict in the future or even partial reconciliation. And just to uh, round up, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky said at the end of his speech that uh, respect to each other about unity uh, is important, not just so it's on posters, but also it's in the hearts of Ukrainians. Tamara, back to you. Thank you very, very much for that update, Tom.
Uh, that was our correspondent Tom Bell reporting from the Unity Forum in Mariupol, which is dedicated to uh, the importance of reintegrating the temporarily occupied territories.